Good morning, European traders. Privateer FX coming at ya. End of the week. It is Friday, 9th of February. Fifth week of trading this year. Been a fun one. Let's see if we can roll this thing out with a bang. Got a lot of interesting setups here. Let's we'll start with our old, brave, heroic friend, Aussie Yen. We printed the range low last night, 84.38, which matches the December low, 84.38. Um, this is going to be very interesting. Moves through this should be followed by systematic selling from our friends, the robots, our buddies, the algorithms. This typically has been happening in the New York session, so sort of keep an eye on it in Europe, but somehow, for some reason, maybe because Two Sigma is mainly run out of New York and D.E. Shaw is run out of New York, the big systematic funds. Um, these guys seem more active in the New York session, so keep an eye on this level. It's better if it goes in New York these days, as crazy as that sounds. Dollar Yen, similar. We have two trend lines here. I'll show you the first, which is this little trend line, sort of kind of head and shouldery thing. And then the second trend line, which is kind of more important, which is your five-year um, trend line. This second one here, back from 212, comes in today at, you know, 108. I don't know, 108 to figure. Look at that. Uh, so... We're coming into some very, very, very crucial moments in dollar yen. Same thing with euro yen. We have a cluster of of yen bombs that are going to go off today. We nipped through the 133 last night to 96. Um, we were lucky enough to sell up there at 85 at the fix. Now we are reloading to sell on rally today we're expecting this to pierce either today or at the open on Monday but ideally today 122.95 just close your eyes 132.95 close your eyes give it a kick see what happens sterling yen same story different pair how about cable yesterday? What the hell? 140.67 the high, which happened to be the 200 hour moving average. I didn't sell any there. Um, all the way back down to 138. Mumble. Holy Christ. But look at the bar. Look at the chaos that it's the chaos bar that it's left us. Bearish engulfing. Um, we chopped through this trend line yesterday late. In London, didn't work. Very choppy. Uh, but did trade down to 88 eventually. Same thing, you know. 150, 88, just close your eyes, sell some. This is, you know, if you look at this bigger picture, we're near the top of the sort of two year range now in, in uh, sterling yen. So. It's got plenty of room to go down, and when Sterling Yen gets ahead of steam, uh, that shit can really move. What else is out there? Kiwi, we're selling rallies. We quietly keep getting paid in Kiwi and then quietly keep buying them back. Uh, even though this is a slightly bullish bar, we feel like this area here, basically 20 to 83. This 60 point area is a sell point. Try and do your circular orders. Sell them, buy them, sell them, buy them. Get a better average or just grab the money um, for an eventual plunge. Uh, who knows what's going to drive that? China may fuck it up or. I don't know. Tsunami. Who knows? 
Um, Kiwi Yen, not really in play. Let's check out Cad Yen. I haven't looked at that yet. No, not really in play. Um, as far as G7 goes, not sure. Indecision bar in Euro yesterday could go either way today. My guess is it goes lower because I have this Euro Yen lower bias. Dollar Swiss, just a slut. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about Dollar Swiss. No one understands this. Euro Swiss got caned. That's <laughs> 114. 114.50, no, 114.48. Don't trade that shit. It's just insane. Cryptos, just bouncing around up here. We didn't get our close above 850, but no drama. We're at 800 in Ethereum. Bitcoin's hanging at 8,000. It feels like the cryptos are just watching the S&Ps now. And, um, you know, they're just on the sidelines. Speaking of S&Ps, uh, we're short Facebook, we're short S&Ps, we're short all kinds of things. We sold some Tesla yesterday. Let's see where that is. Um, let's see. Should be able to do this a bit quicker, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. 171.58. So Facebook went through the trend line, closed. <laughs> 171.58. Look at that. I love selling Facebook. Those guys. Um, and Tesla, which I don't like selling as much, but same type of bar. Uh, both of these are hope. Well, te Facebook's not a hope trade, but Tesla's a hope trade. I want it to go higher, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go lower. Um, both of these just sit short. They're, um, they're going to be in trouble in this sort of bear market uh, type of action. So just hold shorts on, on that stuff and S&P's uh, got destroyed yesterday which was a beautiful thing uh, we're, we're sell rallies today you gotta be careful selling rallies because there's no reason we can't have a hundred handle rally right there's no reason there's no reason we can't have a rally up to 2750 up to 2800 I'm not joking this can happen especially at the beginning stages of a bear market you get the wild crazy shit so be disciplined with your parameters um, we're all we're all looking the entire world is looking at 2530 now 200 day moving average so I suggest you look at that too and with that I will leave you to get your day started good luck out there trading today have a great weekend people uh, for those of you around, I'll talk to you at the uh, New York Open. Ciao.